Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Caleb here. Just, uh, chilling. Figured I'd make a video. Maybe do some honing. Do some refreshing for sure. I got a tin, tinho, tinjo, I guess you'd say. I'm not, uh, Nippon. So, <laughs> and a Mijiro. For those of you interested in the stamps, basically you'd have, uh, a boton over here perhaps there's your second stone in the progression third and you might have a coma over here coma nagura and a tomo even farther but that's not a hard and fast you know guaranteed every single time rule that's just if you have them that's great if you don't feel like doing it I'm hoarding my boton right now and I don't need it so we're just gonna do a quick refresh Not really sure how the audio is going to come through on this video, so let's get started. I have a Awatani here. And I'm going to bring the edge on this beat up Shoemate Barber back. So let's do it. Not that it ever truly left, but don't want too much water. Might have just a little bit too much water. I like to raise my slurry on the ends as the middle gets plenty of work. know it's been a while since my last video but I'm still around still honing that ought to do it as you can see it cuts rather well I know I'm Kind of, I wouldn't say famous, but a lot of people probably think I only use Diamond Nagura for honing. And that's not true. You'll see that the color has changed. And it's changing fast. It's also... I don't want to say breaking down because I don't necessarily buy into that. I guess you could say the clumps of grit are separating into their individual components. And it will behave perhaps finer. The more I work it. This is a decently hard Awatani. It's at least a five. It's very important that your slurry, I'm, I'm kind of rolling a little bit, heel to toe. I'm exacerbating it a little bit. That I'm using a little torque more than anything. thin that out. This should give me a nice comfortable edge. This is a very nice smooth example of an Awatani. As I diluted this slurry, the 
the stone is gripping more. It's a velvety feeling. I wouldn't say that it's indication of much other than two planes becoming ever more aligned perhaps. Probably about as fine as I need to take it. Try to keep this first video extra short so the narcoleptics can make it through. I have a lot of honing gear I'm going to be putting online, not for sale, but up on here. linen strop. It's actually a combination flax linen strop, European flax, American fire hose. I actually got it from uh, Mr. Keith Johnson off of Tomo Nagur on Etsy. There's me plugging. I'll mention it more in other videos. I'm kind of fond of his strops. Oh man, I wish I had a a microscope I could clip on real fast and easy. It's just, it's nice. I'm using this lighted pocket microscope. Nondescript, it's out of, it's off of China. We'll give it a little horse hide. Also a Keith Johnson strop. Try to keep this under nine minutes. Anywho, nothing like a I like it. Well, we'll just upload this real quick. Clean off the arm oil while I'm here. <laughs> and this will last me for a long time. I'll have more videos soon. Y'all take care.